As the world's population increases and society changes, more people are moving to cities. In developing countries, this means three things can happen. The most vulnerable people move to hillsides that are already landslide prone. There is more unauthorised housing, with little adherence to building codes, and there are more urban disasters, driving increases in disaster-related losses, and the risk accumulates. So what happens when informal settlements are built on slopes? The shape, loading, drainage and strength of the slope are changed, and the likelihood of a landslide can increase. People are aware of the landslide risks and sometimes build small retaining walls, although they often collapse. But generally, future risks are discounted because everyday struggles are more pressing. International development agencies and governments can respond in two main ways. When a disaster happens, but this is a complex process and where most of the money is spent, or before a disaster, by including risk reduction in sustainable development policies. But even when money is available, very little has been done to tackle the physical causes of urban landslides. So we are sleepwalking our way into disasters. We're doing too little, too late. What can be done about landslides? Improving surface water management can improve slope stability, but community knowledge of the slope is vital. Community members are asked, where does the water go when it rains? Combining their knowledge of the slope with engineering design criteria helps design a drainage plan. Community residents build the drains and connect household roof and grey water to the drains. Roofs are strengthened to ensure rainfall capture in hurricanes and storms. There is a learning by doing process for everyone involved. But does it work? Urban drainage projects in 12 Eastern Caribbean communities have improved slope stability. So when Hurricane Thomas brought 500 millimetres of rain in 24 hours, the slope stayed standing because less water went into the slopes. Wider benefits include community employment, construction training and rainwater harvesting. And residents and governments learn the science for mitigating landslide hazards. Residents say... When it used to rain, we couldn't get to sleep at night. Now we can. So it works and pays. So even without climate change, in rapidly urbanising landslide prone areas, what really matters is what you build, where you build and how you build. Community based landslide mitigation provides a learning by doing, physically effective and financially beneficial blueprint for governments and communities to reduce landslide risk on urban slopes.